Hey everyone. Hello. I'm welcome. Marina. And I'm Kennedy. <laughs> and welcome back. Yes, we are here with um, a couple of crafts today um, to get you into that back to school frame of mind. Mm -hmm. We know that um, everyone's going back to school and however you're going back to school or your children are going back to school, whether it's um, going to be virtually online or if they're going back to school in person, we just wanted to remind you of some cool things that you can do with vinyl. Yeah, we know it's a tough time, especially for students and families out there, but you know, there's, there's still some fun crafts that you guys can work on throughout this time. And so we've got each alternative, you know, we've, we've got a book bag craft for you guys if you are heading back to school and for you at home moms that are going to be helping your kids out this school year, we have a planner like file box to help you organize maybe your, skid, your, your kids like schoolwork and such. So we thought it would be cool to kind of decorate a planner box for you guys. Yeah, all right. So who do we have with us? I see um, Gabriella saying hi. Kim Evans says, just got my cups. I love them so much. Yay. That's so awesome. <laughs> We've been having such a good time with those color changing cups. Yes, and we, we hope that you guys are too. Lori says, hi all. Hi and Lori. Let's see, tough time for teachers as well. Yes, yes, we understand. That's why we wanted to kind of devote, hopefully a week's worth of crafts for you guys to show you guys some alternatives and keep this time as happy and positive as we possibly can. <laughs> exactly. So what we've got going on today, I guess we're starting over on this end. We are going to go ahead and um, we've got this little file box here. <laughs> so um, for those of you who have kids who are staying home for um, the first semester, my kids are staying home for the first nine weeks and then the school district will make a determination um, from there. So anyone who has kids staying home in the house, you may need a box or something to kind of organize some important documents or some printouts or anything like that. So um, we're just gonna kind of personalize this file box today and- Using our StarCraft HD. That's right. <laughs> so we definitely want to keep, um, you know, working and playing with the StarCraft HD because we know so many people are still a little bit unfamiliar with it. So we're gonna keep using it until you all feel more comfortable with it. So that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do we want to go to the, um, Cricut software. Let's go back to. I think. Okay. Give that over to you. <laughs> okay. So let's do. Um, do a new project. Yeah, you can cancel that one. Okay. All right. So what I've got here is this super cute little pencil. I mean, I just, uh, I think this little pencil is adorable, right? Adorable. <laughs> so we are gonna put it on this box. So we've got the SVG here, and I'm gonna measure my box to see how big I want this to be. So it looks like I'm gonna go about maybe eight inches. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, eight inches. So let's, Oh look, that's about eight. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so we're going to go here. So I'm going to ungroup this because um, I just want to check this SVG. This was something that we kind of pulled in and created off an image. Um, and so some of it is grouped, I think, and some of it is not. So looks like it's grouping itself. What? So there's the one piece. So let's go back and let's control Z and backspace for that one. And then I'm going to put that together and then just weld it so that when I send it to cut, it cuts correctly. Let's see, did it weld? Let's see. Okay. Yep, it's all together now. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go over to make it. And there we've got it separated by matte and by color. So if you're not familiar with the Cricut uh, software, I think this is probably one of my favorite things about the Cricut software. For you. If you're used to using Silhouette, then this is a bit different. Um, with the Silhouette, you have to actually put it on the mat for it to cut you know, that particular color, but I love that Cricut separates it all out for you. So let's continue on from there. And our material is gonna be vinyl. 
All right, and it's telling us to load up the gray first, so let's do that. We've got our handy-dandy Cricut mat, mm -hmm. and we are working with adhesive, so we're laying it down color side up and not mirroring our image. Okay, so we've got it on here. We're going to slide it in. Cutting these, do we want to? Here, I'll put this in order. While we're cutting these, do we want to um, answer some questions? Yeah, are we back on front camera, Emily? Yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Ready. We've got a couple comments from Cole just saying hello. He wants to know where you got the pencil SVG from. He says it's so cute. Oh, thank you. So I actually just Googled it. I was um, Googling back to school images and found that image online and um, pulled it into, actually I pulled it into the Silhouette software because it's just so much easier um, when you're trying to trace an image in Silhouette than it is um, in Cricut. So uh, you could do the same thing if you have any SVG software. Um, so we just created an SVG out of the design and then from there uh, pulled it into the Cricut Design Space. Now, if any of you noticed, we did add the Silhouette Cameo 4 to our backdrop here because we would like to start incorporating videos where we're working with the Silhouette software as well. So let us know if that's something that you guys would be interested in because we know people work with different machines and we want to make sure that we show you guys both ends of the spectrum. Yes. Okay. So now we've got black. Hello, Ella. We've got a hello from Ella. Hi, and Ella. And Angel says, hey, what are we making? Just saw the live link. So today we are focusing on back to school. We've got two separate crafts for you guys. Marina's over here working on a planner organizer or file organizer, I should say. That's the correct term. Um, so we're just decorating a few crafts for maybe kids that are staying at home and we have some parent teachers this year. And then also for any kids who are going back to school, we're doing a book bag craft, showing you guys how to press some vinyl onto a book bag. So that's what we're working on today. Awesome. Can we go back to the Cricut software for a second? Now I already yeah. lost my plates and colors. So this is going to be the pencil tip. You know what? I don't have an extra color for the pencil tip. Should I make it pink or should I make it yellow, like the pencil? Um, make it yellow. Make it yellow? All right. So we're going to do two cuts in this yellow. making for back to school like what types of crafts have you all started doing um, you know we thought of everything from notebooks to binders um, water bottles umbrellas there's all kinds of things that we um, thought about you know making for our little back to school week so let us know what you guys are making yeah so I'm gonna turn this since I'm doing this in the same color hello Cassie hey <laughs> Okay, we're almost done cutting out this pencil. And in the meantime, we can just go ahead and start weeding this. We might want to take this down so you can have a little bit more room and then I'll pick it back up. Okay. Okay. Let us know if we're missing any comments while we're reading, uh, weeding this in. Cassie said that she's going to make her son a shirt and a water bottle. Oh, cute. And Cole said it might be a good time for us to start adding notebooks to our website. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're right. That's not that's not actually not a bad idea. Notebooks or binders? Yeah. For sure. Um, I know last year we did a couple of crafts where we decorated the composition notebooks because... Um, 
they still even use composition notebooks in high school, you know, as for journal writing and things like that. So we decorated the composition notebook. Um, we decorated binders, regular notebooks, pencil pouches. I mean, I don't think there was anything that we didn't put vinyl on. But personalizing in in order to um, you know send the items to school with your kids, especially now more than ever, I think, um, making it clear you know what belongs to who. And then when you make it look pretty, it's more fun for the kids too. Definitely, I used to love customizing my stuff going back to school. Right. That's my favorite part of the school year was back to school <laughs> shopping. Yeah, I it's used so to fun. customize with like a pen though. <laughs> I would draw. Yeah. So now we're like way ahead of what we used to be Very able to advanced. do. Very <laughs> advanced. Um, Cole said that he's making water bottles since the water fountains are going to be closed. Very, very smart. Very, very smart idea. Um, that is an excellent idea. And I think we've got, um, we're looking to do a craft with water bottles and I think it'll look really pretty with the opal essence on yes. it too. Yes. So don't forget about that. Um, that vinyl, but yeah, more than ever. Uh, I don't know if kids are eating in lunchrooms or not, but no, we're uh, not really sure what the school year entails. But we water bottles, lunch bags, put their names on it. Yeah. <laughs> Keep <laughs> but, everything separated and as safe as possible. Okay, so we've got oh, so this one actually has the pencil part here, and then the little tip part is right there. Thomas wants to know how he can send us a picture. Well, Thomas, if you would like to message us separately, you should be able to do that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you can message us now, message us after the live, and send us a picture. If you want to add it to the live, it has to be after the live is done. Oh, did you hear that, Megan said? If you're, if you're wanting to add the picture in the comment, you have to wait until the live has been completed and then you can add the picture. But if you just want to send it to us, um, then you can just message it to us. Okay. How are you guys liking the StarCraft HD? I've um, enjoyed this vinyl and I've heard a lot of good things about it from our customers, so it's been weeding so nicely for me. I mean, I just want to know, is everyone having that same experience? Are you enjoying the StarCraft HD? You're sending me keywords. It's been weeding so nicely, but I don't have a leader to so weed my StarCraft HD. <laughs> Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. It also helps when you, you know, when you're familiar with a certain type of vinyl, so you already know the cut setting that your machine is going to use to cut it. That makes everything so much easier. Let's see, Cassie says in Newton County by y'all. Sorry, I can't see this. <laughs> in Newton County by y'all, the kids have to go eat in their classrooms. The cafeteria will not be used. I got it. That makes sense. Yeah. That so makes sense. Yes, ma'am. I actually. So that means that the kids are actually going back to school in Newton County, right? That's just one county over from us. So we're not. I live in in this county, um, so. We're staying home for the first nine weeks. Traffic has gotten worse in Newton County because that's where I live. Traffic? Mm -hmm. Oh, so they're back to school already? Um, if not back to school, back to school shopping. Back to school, <laughs> back to school shopping. Okay, so I've cleaned off our little file box here with some alcohol just to get any oil from my fingers off of it and give a nice clean surface for the vinyl to stick to. And we got our transfer tape. We're using our clear tack, our clear medium tack transfer tape. Yep. And we get a lot of questions about this when we use this on the live, but I swear, especially when you're trying to line things up. Yeah, it's super helpful that you can see through the transfer tape. It's got the perfect amount of tackiness, in my opinion. Yes. Okay, what do we want to start with? I guess maybe the eraser? Let's go for it. Can you move the box a little towards Kennedy so I can do it over there? How's that? That's good. Good? Yeah. Okay. So, I guess I can copy. Hannah says she's been using the StarCraft HD, I'm assuming, and she said she loves it. That is so awesome to hear. We love it also. <laughs> good, good. I'll give you this one if you can use that piece right there. Ooh, still in it with you. You have a squeegee over there? Yes, I have everything you need. <laughs> All right, so 
Do we have any newbies out there? I always wonder how many people do we have watching that are new to doing this? Because uh, we want to make sure that we point out little things, you know, little tips that we've learned along the way. Mm -hmm. And the, the um, viewers that we have, our customers, are always great about sharing information. So if you're a newbie and you have any questions, please make sure you leave them below because somebody will definitely answer your questions. Yes. So I'm going to start this over here. I kind of want the bow to be in the middle. That looks like about the middle. Does that look like the middle? Can you see that? I think that's about the middle. It is the middle? Okay. <laughs> Emily says yes, so I'm going with it. Okay. Thank you. And I'm just going to run my squeegee over that a couple times. That noise. <laughs> and then rolling my transfer tape back. Smoothing out any bubbles that I see. And the cool thing about having a pin pen is when you see little air bubbles, you can always go back and pop them. <laughs> yes, it's honestly very satisfying <laughs> also. But I'm going to try to move the vinyl around so that I don't get any more air bubbles. So it looks like the bow came out nicely, but mm -hmm. there is one tiny air bubble. next one darling okay and because and when we say knockout designs for anybody who's not kind of familiar with what we're talking about this is exactly it um, if it were the whole pencil then we just lay the bow on top of this but because we use this little knockout we've already cut the area that would contain the bow so I'm gonna put this right under here just like that does that look good Emily Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like Emily has a better view than I do. <laughs> <than that. laughs> Try to make it as tight as possible to avoid the air bubbles. Kim wants to know where to get the small scraping tool, so the squeegee. Yeah. Ooh, great question. These are available on our website. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to show them? you how to get to them? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. All right. So if we go to laptop. There you go. All right. So here is our home page on Brilliant Vinyl. You'll see here at the top of the screen this blue bar with all of our different categories. If you go over to tools, you can hover over this tab and go down to tools and chemicals. You'll see we have a bunch of different options and a few different options for the squeegees as well. So you can buy a three pack or you can buy them individually. Um, right now we have the blue, white, and yellow all in stock for $1.75. So that is where you will find those and they are very, very useful. Yeah, you and uh, we sell the three pack because I don't think you can really ever have enough squeegees. Honestly. You, I mean, I misplace them all the time, yes. so I'm happy that I always have backups because you know, the minute you put it down and then need it again, it's moved. <laughs> so that is a really great price for three of these things because, ooh, awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. And we can go back to front camera. Mm -hmm. You're ahead of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you on overhead, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're putting on, I put on our little um, metal part of the pencil. Where's the other little scrap of transfer? Here it is. And we've got the little tip on here. Oh no, I'm messing up my bow. That's another reason that I really like the uh, the squeegee with the felt on the bottom. This one. Because I feel like it glides across. <laughs> this little tip came in handy. I feel like it glides across a lot better. We can totally switch. <laughs> And here's your last piece. And the last piece. Alrighty. And there is the tip to the pencil. 
this looks awesome. <laughs> so the next thing that I might do um, is I would go ahead and put a, uh, I would either, I don't know if I put a name right here or if I put a name underneath it. Um, I'm not going to be using this for my kids because my kids are, one's 21, one's going to be 18, and one is 16. So they're not going to be using any boxes like this, but we will find a name to put on here. We will, um, we will decorate this and personalize this. I'm looking at it. <laughs> it actually looks like it's a little bit crooked. <laughs> so what I may end up doing is taking it off and straightening it out some. Um, but that just gives you an idea of one way to personalize um, maybe the bin, the box, or whatever it is that you are storing your files in. Angel asks what transfer tape we are using. This is the clear medium tack transfer tape. It does only come in this one size, 12 inches by 30 feet. Um, but as you saw just now, it is very, very reusable. You can use one little square of it yes. <laughs> as many times <laughs> as you please. And it is our personal favorite mm -hmm. because, you know, you get that see-through aspect and it has the perfect amount of tackiness and you can purchase this on our site. Yes, yes. And we can show you how to get to that before we're all done. We'll show you where all of the transfer tapes are on yeah, our website. Totally. Okay, so now we're moving to HTV. Yes. Let's bring this easy press up here and turn it on. Probably need this bottom. Okay, let's turn this on to 305. And what do we want? 10 seconds? 15 seconds? What do you want to do? 15. 15? Okay. All right, let's let that heat up and you want to go ahead and take over? Yeah, did we want to show them from... Sure. Okay. You've already got it pulled into the Cricut uh, software, right? Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's where we should start? Sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Alrighty, so we're going to do a new project here. You can just replace it. There we yeah. go. Right. <laughs> there you go. So we'll go to upload, and I already brought this image in before the live. So this is the title for an anime. I know, I know there's anime fans out there. You guys just aren't admitting it. Um, and I know some of you are going back to school. So this is a cool way to deck out your book bag for back to school. Right. Um, so what do we say, about six inches? I think so. OK. So we'll go down. This looks very tiny. <laughs> All right. Said, I'm an educator and you guys are the worst. I think you're trying to make me use my whole paycheck on my own. You worried me for a second. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what did we do wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you called y'all out like that. Ooh, you made me hot. I'm like, what did we do? <laughs> it's okay, my heart dropped too. I was like, oh. <laughs> We have, um, let us know what you do with the vinyl in your, if you're, especially if you're, if, I don't know if you're um, going back in your classroom right away or not, but we love to see pictures of how teachers are using the vinyl in the classrooms. Um, we certainly appreciate the teachers. Um, you know, we have a lot of teachers that come in and out of our lobby here locally. Um, oh, we should take pictures of the shirts and things that we have in our lobby because we've done Oop, we're ready. We've done um, shirts for all of the local mascots and they came out so cute and the parents and the teachers and everybody just loves looking at those shirts. Yes. So we appreciate you teachers. Definitely. We know that you all do not have an easy job, but <laughs> this uh, current climate certainly isn't making it any easier. Alrighty, okay. so I've got that sized properly. We're going to go to make it. And we're working with HTV, so I'm going to turn a mirror on. And okay, click continue. continue. All right. Um, click on, I see iron on, but click on um, browse all materials. 
and let's go down to uh, heat transfer. <laughs> uh, iron on right there. Okay, let's do everyday iron on. And let's load it up. We should have made a square and did a test cut. I didn't think about that until just now. <laughs> Make sure you do your test cuts, guys. <laughs> I feel like we're always encouraging people to do test cuts and we always forget. <laughs> That's why we're encouraging you guys to. <laughs> Learn from our mistakes. <laughs> Alright, so see. while that's cutting, we can go back to front camera. Alright, Lynn says that she made a personalized she made personalized water bottles for her students. Today was our first day back. Oh my goodness, for all how many students do you have? That was no I easy bet, yeah, job. <laughs> that was no easy job. That was probably a lot of water bottles. That's but really awesome. That's either. so cute. And something that's so needed and necessary yes. too, so that's awesome. Let's see, Kim says, I'm an educator and you guys, oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did we see anybody who was a newbie? Yeah, did we get any newbies in the chat? Lynn says she has 12 students. 12 students, oh that's good, so, I wonder, is that like a decreased class size? Or is that is that like an average? I don't know if it's like a private school or a public school. Um, one thing that, if we do have any newbies, one thing that you might want to um, just notice here is sometimes if your mat is super sticky, more so with the adhesive than with the HTV, mm -hmm. you may want to flip it upside down and actually move, remove your mat from the vinyl instead of your vinyl from the mat because with the adhesive, it um, helps to prevent curling and pulling the vinyl also, so it just kind of makes it easier so the vinyl is nice and straight. Perfect. Can I see right. this? Yes, ma'am. There you go. got both weeders over here. You're going to need one of those. Okay, she teaches in a Christian school and 12 is her max. Okay. That's a great class size. <laughs> yeah. um, Kim says she's a newbie. Welcome, Kim. Let us know if you have any questions, um, not just today, uh, but anytime you see us go live or if you want to shoot us a direct message. We love to um, be able to help solve problems. We do get some customers who have issues applying vinyl and we'll ask them to kind of record a little video on their phone and send us a clip of it so we can kind of walk them through the process. So we try to be as helpful as we can be. Of course. All righty. All right. So I went ahead and cut out this image down here before the live. And we're just gonna put this one right here on top. Okay. Do you mind scooting it up this way? Is that better? Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Do we, we have a Teflon sheet over there? Of course not. No. Can we have a Teflon sheet? We thought we had everything. <laughs> we always think we have everything, and then we're missing something. Technically, you do. It's just stuck to the. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So um, for anyone who's wondering, we have a small thank you, man. Mm -hmm. We have a small heat press pillow that we took. So we have these tiny little heat press pillows. We just folded it up, put it in the pocket. So if you're going to be doing a design that's going on the pocket of a book bag, you you can stuff it with anything. Mm -hmm. um, but these little heat press things, they retain the heat to keep you know the heat from going to the other side. So. I would like to get it as close to the bottom since we've got that straight edge. Do you think we're still going to be able to get an even press? No, because the pillow is not going all the way down that far. See, it stops right here. Mm -hmm. This piece stops right here. So you might want to just go to the bottom of that so it'll be nice That's and fine. even. Alrighty. You want to measure and make sure it's in the middle or does that look even to you? It looks good to me. What do you think? Yeah. Great. Although, even to me too. Okay. <laughs> Although my pencil was crooked, so I don't don't judge my eyes. All right. Okay. So we've got our cricket press set to 305 for 15 seconds. Can I still see an overhead, Emily? Yes. Okay. The 
transfer. Um, yep, top long sheet. Totally. <laughs> the transfer sheet. <laughs> pressure to the best of my ability. <laughs> right. How many of you are using a heat press versus the easy press? So is this the um, soft flex or the... This is just easy weed. That's easy weed? Okay. So um, easy weed and Starcraft soft flex both work great with the Cricut easy press. So I'm just curious to know how many people are using an easy press versus the um, heat press. just around the bottom. I need to press it a little bit longer on the bottom. Yeah, it's hard to get that even press over um, seams. Mm -hmm. So the heat press pillow really does help with that. I know you want to get your hands on this. No, I don't. So <laughs> no, I am enjoying not having to do it. <laughs> But you can't help it though. Like when you see so, you know someone working on a craft, you're just like, oh, me too, me too. <laughs> I think that should be good. All right, let's see. Oh goodness. All right, I'm gonna let your strong arms come and help me out. <laughs> well, it may be because you have to stand. You can't really get like a good even pressure like that, so you may want to stand and try it. How about that? Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm counting in my head. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, we can turn the timer on. But I didn't... Okay. All right. Let's see now. Come on. Let's see. Start from this corner, maybe. trying to come up in a few spots. This is why I use the heat press because I get so nervous with the easy press that I'm not going to apply enough pressure. I do too. Okay. All right. go, you want to go over it with the Teflon sheet only? Yeah. One you, final time. Let's see if I can fix this little crinkle here. We do have the mini press. We do have the mini press over here. Okay. You want to try that one too? I guess so. <laughs> we're like, okay. <laughs> Sounds good to us, Lynn. And while we're waiting for this to heat up, if you want to move on to the top, because that is a bigger area. Uh-oh. So, should we put the pillow inside yeah. the thick part in there? Let's see. The good thing about the backpack is um, the fibers in it. Like, I can see where it adhered really, really well. I can see the fibers coming up through all of this part here, which is kind of what you want when you're um, working with HTV. It's just the very, very ends. Um, so we will try this little heat press on just the very end so we don't keep heating up the design. Oh, we've got several. <laughs> okay. 
I'm going to stand up on this. Let's try that. Oh, um, Amy said, I'm a newbie here and having a hard time with my cricket. With your cricket? Tell us what you're having a hard time with. Yes, we actually have a way to pull up the cricket software, so we might be able to show you a few things. Okay, so that was about 15 seconds, so let's check that. From the very end still. We might have to move this heat press, uh, the pillow around, because I don't think the pillow is big enough to go to, let's try and turn it this way. What was popping up? What is it? Yeah, let's try it. Is it, nope, oh, it's still not under the whole thing. So let's try this side first. Okay. Because I know it's under there. All right. We've got heat presses everywhere. Yeah, and it's also getting caught on the zipper, so I'm going to yeah. try to go this way. And let's try that for a few seconds. See if we can get that to lay down still, and then we'll move it over. Move the pillow over. Is it under there? Yeah. You want to put that back on? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very stressed out right now. <laughs> we'll press down this side for a few seconds. So anytime that you're um, pressing vinyl onto something, definitely check where the seams and the zippers are because that makes such a big difference. Yes, and this heat press pillow definitely makes a difference also. All right. All right. So is that all the way done? Is yeah. That deep, deep, deep. yeah. So you can so. hit that end and that end if you want to. it now. <laughs> presses really do come in handy. When I first saw one, I was like, what am I going to do with that little tiny thing? But they really do come in handy. All right, that came out good. So now that all of the vinyl is properly adhered, <laughs> Kenny is ready to go back to school. <laughs> I really am ready to go back to school, you guys. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> so, um, that, those are our two crafts today. Um, do we have any questions before we go, Emily? Okay. All right. Well, thank you to everyone who joined us. Um, as always, comment down any video ideas that you have for us or any specific crafts that you would like to see, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.